next video ended up being in the extras of fit life probably 2001 or two i know i just moved into my house yeah mike's part for this i mean everybody else had a bunch of stuff and a lot of other people's stuff went to other videos but he had the whole part done and set up and it went so awesome with this song yeah this song's awesome it that, really that's big. <laughs> it captures some of the gnarliest shit that he's ever done around here or anyone's ever done in salt lake yeah this night it was probably 16 degrees if i remember right it was real cold you can't stop riding yeah you can't stop to talk you can't sit around but the lights are still on at the park and it's still dry it hasn't snowed yet but it's colder than cold this is when um we just moved to Layton, got into the house, and Mike was one of the first roommates there. I think he's the only one that ever did that gap. Oh yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff that he's the only the one that only ever one. did. The only one, yeah. I love this shot, because I'm behind all the people and you can see everybody go nuts. He owned the ice pick to fakie. Cranks so hard to get across that. This is just how he would ride at Sandy every time he went there. There wasn't days he just didn't do things like that. Definitely just shuts the park down on a regular basis. I think this is when he started, like this area when he started wearing the girl pants. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> wearing style and stuff. He totally, I think he, he was a big thing to do with starting that fashion. You know, one of the things about Mike is how many people tried to emulate everything he did from clothes to Fakings. tricks to attitude to everything there were so many kids that like i think it was ed when i heard them call them fakins yeah fakins <laughs> they would look like a miniature version of them real ride two yeah soccer house first real ride closed and they end up having that place all in over he's pink bike yeah <laughs> last setup of proving grounds before it went away when it was all long ways the whole way draper hip shot so damn high that's it's hard to go into that with heat i feel like because you have to make a quick right turn oh all his shots at layton i used to ride layton every day and he wouldn't ride it that much and he would just come there and be better than everybody. And I'd be like, damn, I put in so much time and he'd just come, you know, kill it. Casually. <laughs> he casually kill it. That's Try. ridiculous. To see if like when you're there in person, you wouldn't believe that he did that. Mike always did real good in those triple crown contests. Yeah. Always placing in the top five pretty much every single time. I think, you know, in my opinion, he, like he wanted to do good. I mean, he never said he didn't, but I think you know, he would definitely see how serious people were taking it, and he would try to, like, goof off a little more, or, like, I don't know, try to be a bit of a smart ass towards him. Yeah. And he always knew I enjoyed that, too, and so he would tell me a little story. We'd have little stories and goof off and make fun of people. <laughs> He's definitely good at pissing people off. <laughs> you know, like, he knows how to say the thing to piss somebody off if you don't like him or if they're just going about stuff different than him. He's good at saying that something to piss people off. <laughs> the square boys. Go guys. We used to make fun of him a lot. I don't know, we all do it to each other, just make fun of each other, but yeah, that was our, what our way of just getting him, making fun of him. Little curve wall at the bank down the street from where we live. That one's nuts. Double high up there. That was really tall. Yeah. So damn high. That's gnarly. That one's nuts. That was a hot, closest thing to a flip that Mike wanted to do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was wild. I love that shot right there. Didn't he eat shit really bad doing that? Yeah, I think so. I think he hit the pipes on the way up or something. I love this shit too. I love, I love that end shot right there. A lot of this stuff still stands the test of time. It's still gnarly as fuck. <laughs> 